Hi, kindergarten. It is Mrs. Shivani from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizen Citizenship. I hope that you guys are doing so well today. I am excited to teach you lesson 21. And today's lesson in math is all about the number eight. We did the number seven and two times, right? We talked about the number seven for a while. And now we are going to be talking about the number eight. So today we'll start off with a quick fluency game. I'm gonna do some counting up, counting down. We will do our application problem and we'll do our concept development. We'll talk about what we learned and we'll do our exit ticket to show what we learned. Um, today, if you have something to write with and write on, and if you have something to count with, that would be really, really cool. Um, we're going to be counting groups of eight and putting them in all sorts of different arrangements. We're gonna put them on um, a five group mat. We're going to put them in corners. We're gonna take them apart, make towers. So if you have something to kind of follow along with me while we're doing that, that would be really cool. Um, and that way you'll be doing something with your hands instead of just watching. But if you don't have something to count with, totally fine. You can just watch and follow along with me too. That's also fine. All right, so let's share my screen and we'll get started with module one, lesson 21. So our goal today will be to compare sense of eight in linear, that means in lines and in different arrays, configurations, and we'll match with the number eight. And that's the number eight right there. I think actually we're gonna be writing the number eight next math lesson. So don't think you'll need something to write with today. Sorry about that. All right, so this is counting, and you're going to need to use your hands for this. So let's practice counting up and down with our fingers to eight, and we'll make sure we're counting the math way. So show me two fists like this, and let's start counting. Ready? One, two, you do it too. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to stop at eight. Ooh, I have five and three. Okay, now let's count down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's do it a little bit faster. Ready? We'll stop at eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good work. All right, let's do one more game. This is happy counting with an eight. So we're gonna practice counting to eight again, this time a different way. When I hold up my fingers like this, I'll just do a thumbs up actually. When I do a thumbs up like this, I want you to count up. And when I put my finger down like this, I want you to count down. And then you're going to stop and start wherever I tell you to. So I might say one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, like that. So we're gonna go up and down and up and down and up and down. It's kind of like a roller coaster, okay? All right, ready? We'll start at one. Count with me, Flirt it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, five, now count down, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good counting. Okay, let's do our application problem today. This part of the math lesson always gets us ready for the next part. There were some children playing with marbles on the playground. Oh, I like marbles. A marble is like a sphere and it rolls and rolls and rolls and rolls. Put seven marbles in the circle. Okay, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's make sure we have seven. Mm, okay, here's my counting path. I'm gonna start and stop right at this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. What would happen if somebody gave these children another marble? What would happen? Let's see, we had seven, and now we have eight. 
that's what would happen. Seven and one more is our number of the day, eight. All right, let's talk about that number. Count out five blue cubes. So if you have something to count with, go ahead and count with me now. We're gonna count out five blue cubes. One, two, three, four, five. How many cubes are left in the bag here? Hmm, five. Let's count out two more. One, two. Okay, so we have five blue cubes on the top row, two yellow cubes on the bottom row. Five and two are seven. How many are left now? Three. Okay, let's do something else now. Let's put one more yellow cube, excuse me, on the map. One more. Okay, so how many are in the top row? Five. How many are in the bottom row? Three. Let's count all of the cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more is eight. Eight is one more than seven. Okay, put the cubes in a tower. Can you see the five and three hiding in our eight? Oh, okay, let's put them in a tower. Let's see actually if it's on the next page. Okay, here they are. Now they're in a tower, nice and neat for us. I don't want you to get confused with the other ones left in the bag. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you see that five and three hiding inside the eight? Five and three are hidden partners to eight. Okay, let's put the cubes in two rows. So each row has the same number. Okay, a challenge. We want to put them in two rows, but we want each row to be the same. So we have to give each one a partner. One and one partner. One, one partner. One, one partners. One, one partner. Okay, whoa. <laughs> That's silly guys hiding. <laughs> we'll put them right here. That's so silly. Here, we'll put them like that. Okay, he has a partner, right? He's just hiding a little bit. Okay, so did we, we put the cubes in two rows and each row has the same number, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, still yeah, four. So four and four partners of eight. Pretty cool. All right, let's do one more thing with our part, with our number eight. Okay, so here we have columns now. We have one, two, three, four columns. We can kind of see that a little bit better, huh? Now let's put one cube on the top edge of our work mat. So like over here, we'll put one cube here, one cube here, one cube here, one cube here. That's kind of like in the corner. Do we have any cubes left? Yeah, we do. Let's put them in the corner again. We have four left. Do, do you think? Do you, do you think that we could do this again? I think we could, let's try. One, two, three, four. There are two cubes on each edge for a total of eight cubes on the work mat. Good work. All right, let me show you our problem set now. Okay, so you're going to look at the five frame here, count how many dots and choose. Then down here, think. If you colored five of these red, one, two, three, four, five, how many would be left not colored? And then answer. If you colored four of these cubes black, now you can color a column black or you can color the rows like we just practiced, black. How many would be left not colored? So you colored four of these black. How many would not be colored? Or if you colored four of these black, how many would not be colored? Again, it doesn't matter if you do the columns or the rows, either one. And then you're gonna count how many rhombuses. 
All right, kiddos, we did a lot of counting today and I will see you next math lesson. Bye.